flag racing time. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, but the six dance triumph, oh, baby, it's, it's Charlie Davenport. I finish it! Oh, it's hey. gonna be Alex Fletcher! Oh, oh, Mike Fink Jr., number 38, winning at Daytona. Here comes the 19. Trey Wright wins the Indianapolis 200. And he's going to win his second race here under the lights at Kansas. A part-time driver is going to steal a deal at Charlotte. Local millions will win the Coca-Cola 600. We are the NIRA. We are the NIRA. We are the NIRA. We are the NIRA. Howdy folks, this is Freedomator, welcome to the Watkins Glen International, we're here for race number 17 of season number 2 of the Cabela's Cup Series, this is the CSX 355 at the Glen, 42 gonna roll off here, we're gonna go around for about 14 laps around this 3.4 mile road course, the only road course stop of the season. And the first one the Cabela's Cup Series has ever gone to. Last season it was all over. This time we're adding Watkins Glen to the schedule. And this is going to be a good one for sure. Let's go trackside. We'll take a look at your starting lineup and we'll get this pace lap started. And the engines fire here at Watkins Glen. 42 going to roll off. Camden Jesiorski and Eli Bright on the front row. Ben Grorich and Kanan Biller in row number two. Brady, er, uh, excuse me, Ty Nicholas and Brady Ujest in row number three. Then it's Nikolay Sykes and Mark Sy, I believe, in row number four. Yes, Mark Sy in the 14. And then the round out row five of the top ten, it's Niall O'Hare and Creed Daniel in the 39. Take a look through the rest of your field here. And your point standings, of course, coming into this race. Kanan Biller sits at the top of the point standings by a healthy 11 points over Titan Nicholas in the 43. Trey Smith in the 91, who's starting deep in the field, is third in points. He is 19 points back of Kanan Biller. Ben Brorich, who's starting there in the third position alongside Kanan Biller, sits fourth in points, 21 back. What a season for that 78 team. He has not won a race yet this season. Oh, he's come close. He has zero wins, one top five, but five top tens. He comes in with an excellent shot of improving his championship eligibility here at Watkins Glen. JD Figueroa sits fifth in the points. He is 28 back. Zero wins, three top five, six top tens in the pole. Coming in with a hope of actually no three top fives and four top ten. I apologize, for the wrong thing. He is 28 back. William Brock has no wins, three top five, six top tens in a poll. He's 32 back. Eli Bright, seventh in points. He is 39 back as things stand right now. A win, two top fives and five top tens. Darren Orndorff is in eight. In points, no wins, four top five, seven top tens. He's 46 back. He's the last one currently within a race worth of points. But to round out the top ten, Chase Buck in ninth. He is 55 back. And Rodney Crouch in the tenth position with not a single top five, but three top tens. He comes in 57 points back, trying to do what his son Ben did last season in the Cabela's Cup Series, which is win the championship coming from behind. Meanwhile, the pace car coming down, leading the field to the green flag. Camden Jezorski, Eli Bright, Ben Grorich, Kanan Biller, Titan Nicholas down to get the green flag, and the CSX 355 is underway. Oh, big trouble already off the start. We didn't even make the... We didn't even get to the line before they started stacking up back there. 
Looks like Nick Kennedy was one of them. Rowan Fenway was another. Everyone, everyone's going to keep going, though, by the looks of things. Don't see anyone on the pit road? No. So we will stay, so we will keep going here off the start. Of course, no cautions in this race, but that's a big gap that opened up back there. Surely going to be something to watch out for when pit cycles happen. Meantime, Eli Bright is in the lead. Kanan Biller has moved to second there in that 16, trying to extend his points lead. He'd like to have one that's more comfortable than 11 points coming out of this race. Tight Nicholas in the 43, starting deeper in the field. Not as deep as Kanan would feel comfortable with when trying to get the points lead, but uh, it's a start. So Biller's going to fall into the second position. Uh, Brady Ugest and Mark Sy going to go side by side for third. I'm saying we're going to give that to Brady Ugest. No, we're going to give it to Mark Sy. What a pass through turn eight. I thought Ugest could get him back through turn nine, but no, that is not the case. Jezorski is in fifth. Ben Grorich and Creed Daniels side by side for sixth. And that's for eighth. Niall O'Hara, Titan Nicholas, and Tyler Mills going to round out the top ten. Trey Wright going way wide. And a few going wide through turn ten. Creed Daniel, Titan Nicholas at the wall. And Sam and Oskin does also. I believe Colton Yo did as well. And scattering down the front straightaway. It looks like a few cars coming down onto the pit road already. It's Mitchell Collins, Jamison Thull, Ben Young, and Jason Dady. It's just going to be a stop and go for Mitchell Collins. Same for Jason Dady, Ben Young, and Jamison Thull just now getting off. Looks like they were they may have been getting damage fixed from that stack up coming off of turn number 11 when we came and got the green flag. The field Meantime, going down the long straightaway and off into turn five is still Eli Bright up front ahead of Kanan Biller. And, of course, yesterday, remember, Carter Joey absolutely dominated the race yesterday. It was only 12 laps. But Carter Joey got the lead off the start, and he never looked back. Played the pit strategy very well and got the win yesterday. But here's a move. Brady Ugest on the inside of Camden Jezorski, that's for fourth. And Kanan Biller is right there on Eli Bright to potentially make a move. Bright goes off just a little bit there through turn eight, now up through turn nine. Biller's right there to pounce if Eli Bright overshoots turn 11. Which is something we've seen already. It's not, in, it's not too terribly rare, but it's also not horribly uncommon. So we will see here. Ooh, Biller goes wide. He doesn't hit the wall, though. But Eli Bright likes that. He's feeling a little more comfortable now as they go down the front straightaway. Off into one. Eli Bright stretching away. The gap at the line was just under half a second. Mark size right there in the third position. Could potentially pounce in that Centrix Chevrolet. Brady U just trying to hold off a hard charging Camden Jezorski there in the 88. As the top five will stretch away going down the back stretch. And going upwards of 190 miles an hour at the end of that straightaway there before we get on the brakes through the bank turn five. And down this little short shoot here off into six as we get into the boot part of the track. So Kanan trying to Draw back in closer to the number eight of Eli Bright. And he is going to be there down the straightaway potentially. Might be on the bumper once again through turn eight. We'll see. He's going to be right there to make a move. Not quite, but he's not too far away. Ooh, Bright goes wide again through turn eight. Maybe behind, look at this, a move by Tyler Mills on Ben Grorich. Grorich, third in points coming in. Doesn't want to lose too many spots. This is the battle for sixth right now. In Thomas will check it up front. Ooh, Bright goes wide again. Mark Sy also goes wide. Kane and Biller's right there up top. Is he going to go wide? Oh, he hits the wall. Here comes Mark Sy on the 14, and he'll move into the second position. K 
Kane and Beller will fall to fourth as Ujest also moves into the third position down low. And Jez Yorski trying to get there. So, oh, he's going to get into the back of him. He's going to move him up. Not quite going to get there down low. He's going to be right there to make a move down the long straightaway. And he's already poking out there. He drove a little wide there through three. Now up through turn four. Now he's falling back. Now full throttle down this straightaway before we get into the breaking zone of turn five. Fastest turn of the track. Oh, Trey Wright. Trey Wright pokes out. Potentially troubled for the 38 car. He is slow. He's off the pace. What just happened? Trey Wright is in trouble. Something has just broken on that M&M's number 38. He is still not getting up to speed. Oh, contact with Travis Crampton, the Michigan winner last week. They'll get by though. Stay out of trouble for the most part, but Trey Wright, guy coming in 15th in points, was only coming in 71 points back, or 69 points back rather. He's still on the throttle, kicking up some dirt there. He might have a tire down. That might be what the problem is. Meantime, checking up with the lead once again. It's still Eli Bright leading Mark Sy, Brady U, Jest, Kanan Biller, and Kendra Jezorski, the top five. As things getting a little more singled out. Of course, waiting for the pit cycle from laps 9 to 12, I would say. Laps, at least laps 9 to 11. And field going wide off of turn number one there. You see, it looks like Nonigan Scott has hit the outside turn 11 retainer as well. And the other Centrix car in the field, there's Noah Clifton. Car doesn't have a scratch on it, looks like. Nah, he's in good shape. He's just in the back of the field. That's his only problem right now. And Nathan Stapleton, say the same about him. He sits on track right now in the... Let's see where he is here. 28th position. So there's a few cars behind... Quite a few cars behind him. There's Rodney Crouch. Guy 10th of points coming in. He could have gotten involved with that skirmish. And looks like Trey Wright finally made it back to the pits. And that car is up on the jack. They are going to switch the tires on that thing. They might be doing a little more than that. He's, he's being jacked up for a while here. He might, he might even lose a lap here at this rate. We'll see. Mark Sy. Oh, he drove it way wide there off of turn 10. He's going to look on the low side of turn 11. Eli Bright. Oh, he hit the wall. Mark Sy on the inside. He takes the lead here at Watkins Glen. And Bright not, may not only lose the lead, he might lose second here as Brady Uges takes a look to the inside and that Husqvarna Chevrolet. And points leader Kanan Biller right back into contention for this thing. There he is sneaking up in there in the fourth position. Trying to find a, a way around both of these guys, Ujest and Bright. Now he'll go to the bottom, the draft to Brady Ujest, and they're going to draft on by down this long straightaway. And Kane and Biller, of course, going to have the preferred line going off into turn number five. Ooh, they touched there. Going off into turn number five, Kane and Biller into the third position. And meanwhile, his points, his closest points rival, Ben Gorich, right there in the seventh position. Where has Titan Nicholas fallen? He's fallen to 11th. It's still a solid day for that 43 team, but he's going to need to be careful. He doesn't want to lose too many spots. Ooh, you just went a little wide there through turn seven. Kanan Biller's going to be right there. You see him already poking out to the inside, potentially making a move going off into turn eight here. Mark Sy likes that, though. It's going to allow him to slip away just a little bit. You, uh, uh, you just going to fight back on the inside of turn 9 there. Biller not able to complete the pass. If he can stay there through turn 10, he'll get him through turn 11. So we'll see. 
Biller drives it in deep through turn 10. He'll still be on the low line to turn 11, and he's going to clear him. Eli Bright coming down onto the pit road. So, so we're seeing some guys come down early here for the pit cycle. This could be good for them. Come down earlier, you have better speed on the track with everyone else as their stuff wears off. This might be good for him as you just and Bill are still side by side. You just is going to hold off the 16 for the time being. As we're just short of halfway here at Watkins Glen. We're coming to halfway this next time by. It's Mark Sai leading as things stand right now. You just second. Kanan Biller third. Kendall Jesjorski fourth. Tyler Mills in the fifth position. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm still impressed with how much better Tyler Mills is running. Coincidentally, whether or not it had to do with the rebranding from the 97 to the 26. That team has come to life. He may not win this championship, but uh, he's definitely putting on a heck of a show here in this second half of the season. Kanan Biller going to look to the inside down the straightaway once again off into turn 8. He's That's further than he was last time. He's way more ahead than he was last time. I don't think you just is going to come back on this. Oh, he's going to. It's going to be close. You're off turn number 9. They're still side by side. Off into turn 10. Going to be careful here not to overshoot. Across the rumble strips. He went on it. Good corner for Kanan Biller. Whoa! Tyler Bells goes wide. And now Kanan Biller will officially clear Brady Ugest for second. And now up to him to chase down Mark Sy in the 14. Seven laps to go here at Watkins Glen. Down through turn one, Sai, you know, he's trying to keep it steady, but everyone else is keeping it steady too, but they've been doing side by side and battling back and forth. That's what's allowed the 14 to pull away. And, it, and obviously once we get to pit cycles here in just a couple laps, it is going to be interesting to see what strategy these guys take because uh, depending on how many tires they take, obviously they're going to get fuel. So... How many tires they take could be the could be the difference because if someone's going to be out there on four fresh tires, obviously it's going to be better than two. But if you just take two tires, how far out to the lead do you get? While the other guy stays in and gets four. With Mark Sai having almost a two and a half second lead. If things stay like this, he may not even have to worry about saving time in the pits. He might just be able to come in and come out if he just stays up in front like that. McCain and Biller and Brady U just in line there, just trying to draw in closer. There's Ben Grorch, took a tighter route through turn 8 than Dale Lightning did. Dale Lightning... There behind Niall O'Hare. That is for, that's ninth position right there that he's in. Excellent run so far for that 31 team. Meanwhile, up ahead, ooh, Kane and Miller's gonna come down. All right, he's coming down earlier. So we'll just see how that works. And, oh, looks like Chase Miller got into a little bit of an incident there. And that number 10 car, front end destroyed on that Valvoline Dodge. And I don't think, yeah, he may not have been the only one. We'll see in a second. Now, there's your leader, Mark Sai. The lead now 3.19 seconds. And there's the next, the next car up, Nick Kennedy. Now, oh, he wasn't... Oh, Miller really wasn't the only one. There's Colton Yo, Radio Shack Chevrolet torn up and smoking. He's going to... Whoa, he can't see out that thing, and he hits the guardrail again. Look out, Keegan Thompson. And he'll get by. Colton Yo going to ride the edge of the track. The f he's, he's way ahead of the field. Doesn't need to worry about getting run into. He's all the way over here in turn 11. These guys are just now getting out of turn number 7. Colton Yo will come down onto the pit road, and looks like... Yeah, Jason Dady is coming down for service, so had at least a two-car incident just now.
while we were watching the battle for the lead. And Yo's gonna come down and he is going to be done after whatever happened and we'll take a look at it after this race comes to a close as well as what happened on lap number one and now Mark Sy is going to come down Brady you just going to come down Ken Jorski's going to stay out oh he overshot the turn and that's going to hurt him he was going to come down onto the pit road but overshot the corner and Camden Jezorski will have to wait another lap to come down. That is tough. That is extremely tough. Now Eli Bright, of course he already came down. As did, as did I believe, Roman Fenway. And these guys here are all still on the lead lap. So they could come around and potentially pass all of these guys. I don't think they're, I don't think they're going uh, quick enough to do so. And oh, a slow exit there for Ben Groch in the 78. But now we'll check in with your leader. There's Camden Jezorski in the 88, just coming out of turn number six. He has a massive lead over Mark Sy, who appears to come off first. Dale Lightning second. Darian Arnsdorf third. Jamison Thull 4th, Ben Grorich 5th, Brady Uges 6th, and so much for what I said about pitting earlier helping. Looks like pitting later may have actually worked out better here as far as these this pit cycle went. And potentially Mark Sy heading for an easy runaway victory here. If Camden Jezorski comes down here, I doubt he is going to beat Mark Sy out. Through turn 11, he'll make it on safely this time. And Trey Wright, obviously, a lap down as things stand right now. I believe that's going to get a lap back for him. Yes, he will get back onto the lead lap. after having a tire go down earlier and now Mark Sy will come around and officially inherit the lead here at Watkins Glen and three laps to go or four laps to go actually there's Jezorski all the way down at stall number one and Sy makes it through turn number one he has almost a Five second lead over Derry Narnsdorf and Dale Lightning. You see them battling side by side there for second. Give it to Dale Lightning as he shoots back by the 15. Up through the S's and headed for the back straightaway. Mark Sy, so long as nothing goes wrong. Looks like he is going to get his first win of his career here in the Cabela's Cup Series. There's Eli Bright making a move on Owen Miles. Excellent pass there. That's for 11th place. What a pass by Eli Bright there going off through turn five. And here's Travis Crampton, your Michigan winner, working on Josh King and just ahead, a three car battle. Tyler Mills, Ben Grorich, and Brady Ujess. Grorich gonna lose two spots there. He got moved up out of the way. And he slips behind Brady Ugest. Woo, Dale Lightning off the track. He and Arnsdorf make contact there. Up through turn nine. Dale Lightning's going to hold on to the spot for the time being. But Darian going to look back to the inside through 10. Lightning goes wide. On the inside through turn 11, Lightning coming back. And oh, Arnstorff hits the wall. Lightning into the second position. Tyler Mills trying to split both of them. But it's a 7.2 second lead from Dale Lightning to Mark's side. Now Tyler Mills to Mark's side. The 26 going to try to get by here. Three laps to go here at Watkins Glen. 
what a battle is that is going on right here. How about Ryan Benjamin? Haven't talked about him very much this race. There he is sitting in the seventh position. Two, a two-time winner here. The Cabela's Cup Series has not won yet in season number two. And having an excellent run so far. And Kanan Biller, the 16 in the 21st position. And Titan Nicholas, his closest points rival in the championship, sitting in 28th, so he's good there. Let's take a look at the points real quick as things run. With Kane and Biller running 21st, Titan Nicholas is running 28th, so he's not going to lose spots to him. Trey Smith is running 32nd, he's not going to lose spots to him. Ben Grorich is running 6th, but that's only 15 positions different. And Kanan is 21 points coming in ahead of Ben Brooks, so I don't think he's going to uh, lose the points lead coming out of this, but he is definitely, that lead is definitely going to shrink, no doubt. And J.D. Figueroa is behind uh, Kanan Biller as things stand right now. William Brock is only two positions ahead of him. Eli Bright up there in 11th. Of course, that's not going to lose the points lead. That's just going to that's just going to allow Eli Bright to eat into Kane and Biller's lead. As we're now at two laps to go here at Watkins Glen, Darian Arnsdorf is up in the fifth position as things stand right now. There he is, just ahead of Ben Grorich. Chase Buck in the 19 is in the 17th position and Rodney Crouch is way off the pace back in the 28th place. Well, not way off the pace, but he's he appears to Yeah, he's off the pace. He is not with the lead pace right now. But the gap to the lead has grown. Mark Sy, it's almost 8 seconds over Tyler Mills was finally able to stretch away from the battle that was going on here. What a pass by Brady U just off into seven. Crossover by Dale Lightning. He's going to go to the inside. He got into him. Wide they go at the exit of turn seven and down the back straightaway. Dale Lightning's going to have the low line here through turn eight. This battle has been going on for two or three or four laps now. Ever since they got off the pit road, it's been going on. Someone kicking up some dirt there through the short shoot between 8 and 9. But now ahead, Mark Sy coming off turn number 11. White flag coming out for that 14. One lap to go at Watkins Glen. Tyler Mills looks like he's going to get second. Brady U just stretching away for third. Dale Lightning slips on the exit of turn. Oh, Travis Crampton into the wall off turn 11. But Darren Arnstorff's right there to work on Dale Lightning. Potentially get more points towards the championship. Same two for Ben Grorich there in the 78. They stay singled out right now, but it's a big gap up to Brady U just in the 18 right now. And a bigger gap to Tyler Mills. And an insurmountable gap up to the leader, Mark Sy in the 14. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to make a move right now going down the straightaway. But well, off down here, this is in turn six. This is Mark Sy. He's dominated the second part of this race. And holy cow, what a show he's put on. The pit strategy worked for him. He came out eight seconds ahead of it. Well, he's come out seven seconds... He came out seven seconds ahead of everyone. He's almost eight seconds ahead now. And Mark Sy, after having an incredibly rough season, is going to come down through turns 10 and 11. And looks like he is going to win the CSX 355 here at Watkins Glen. He'll go wide a bit through turn 10. Now take it easy through turn 11. Doesn't matter if he makes any mistake here. He'll come off down low. Mark Sy wins at Watkins Glen. The C is X 355. M Tyler Mills going to finish second. Just scrapes the outside of the turn 11 barrier. And Dale Lightning is going to finish behind Brady Ujes who gets third. Dale Lightning fourth. Darren Arnstor fifth. 
Ben Grorich 6th, Ryan Benjamin 7th, and a photo finish there for 8th. Give it to Camden Jesiorski over Josh King. And Eli Bright comes all the way back for a top 10 finish. Good job by that driver. And where did Kanan Biller finish? There he is side by side with Trey Wright. Kanan Biller comes back to finish 20th. So he gained one more position than he had... A uh, couple laps ago when we were watching him and looking over points. So he's not going to lose the points lead. But his points lead is going to be smaller for sure as things stand right now. Mark Sy, what a performance. It is a 7.74 second gap. For the win to Mark Sy over Tyler Mills. He didn't have to worry about very much going on behind. As entertaining as all the shuffling was and the passing back and forth. The side by side bumping and banging the racing going on back there. That allowed him to pull away and he capitalized on the opportunity. And ran perfect laps after he came off the pit road. Mark Sy going to come home. The winner for the first time. He'll come down the pit road. Be welcomed by his crew a winner. And in just a moment we'll take a look at what happened first on lap number one. And then we'll take a look at what happened to uh, Colton Yo and I believe it was Chase Miller in the 10. About halfway through this race. We'll see what happened there. Meantime, here's Mark Sy coming down onto the pit road. We'll come down to his stall. And now let's go take a look at the incidents earlier in this race. So this is coming off turn number 11 on the start of the race. Looks like Rodney Crouch went up into Owen Miles. They go up and hit the guardrail. J.D. Figueroa gets a piece there. Jason Dady, Colton Yo gets a little bit. Chase Miller just able to squeeze through. Oh, Keegan Thompson gets a little bit of damage there. But looks like everyone gets it straightened out for the most part. And, oh man, Jamison Thull, Nathan Stapleton, Mark Sy, and Evan Hunter did a good job of getting slowed up there. But, uh, st still, that didn't bring out the caution. Well, obviously, because we don't have cautions for road course races. But, uh, my goodness, what, what a crazy start to the race that was. Let's take a look at another angle to see what happened. Off turn number 11 from another angle. There he goes, just slipping up into Owen. And pow, into the guardrail. And slides down to the field. Figueroa gets a piece there. Oh, up in the air. A little bit there as this smoke comes up. And behind, it looked like he was a little more of a stack up there. As Roman Fenway and Nick Kennedy getting sideways in the stack up. And while that was going on in front... There's Kennedy sliding up into Roman Fenway. That's how they got together. And back up into the guardrail. Kennedy gets sideways. Roman pushing him along. Ben Young just makes it through that. And they get it straightened out for the most part. And uh, it could have been a lot messier than that. But uh, thankfully that's all that happened. And it looks like everyone was able to go on. Now let's go take a look at what happened to Colton Yo and Chase Miller later on in this race. Here they are going through turn number six. Yo sliding up, 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 up into Miller. As cars go through the dirt. They get together, pow, into the guardrail and just, oh man, come right to a stop. Mowed that thing down, came right to a stop. And, oh man, Casey Hall and Nonagon Scott lucky to get through there as... Colton Yo tried to get back going. Nathan Stapleton, holy cow, what a dodge there. So now we know what happened there. Let's go down to Pit Road. We'll take a look at your finishing results and wrap things up here at Watkins Glen. So here are your finishing results. Mark Sy wins. Tyler Mills second. Brady just third. Daylightning fourth. Darren Arnstor fifth. Then Ben Gruich, Ryan Benjamin, Candid Jaworski, Josh King, and Eli Bright. Round out the top 10. And here's the rest of your standings here. Trey Wright, Mitchell Collins, Jason Dady, uh, Jamison Thull, and Ben Young unable to finish on the lead lap. And Colton Yo and Chase Miller, the only ones unable to finish, period. 
So that's going to wrap us up here. Congratulations to Mark Sy for winning this CSX 355. We'll see you all the next race at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Until then, this is Freedomator. Y'all take care and have a good one.